I promised a user to show how to back up the internal memories of a DX27 to a computer. So the first thing you need to do is to connect your MIDI out, you can see the MIDI out is plugged in there, to a USB to MIDI interface because there's no direct USB connection on such an old keyboard. There is our USB MIDI interface and as you can see the MIDI clock is flashing. So this is what converts between our USB and we have a MIDI out cable there coming out. The USB cable goes into the laptop because I just wanted to use a cheap very slow laptop that doesn't have very much power and an old version of Sonar that's virtually available for free Sonar 6 which is long obsolete just to show that you don't need any fancy setup to record your MIDI. So what we did is we opened the Sonar and we um, set up a new project and then we clicked on view SysX Banks. Well there's under the view tab you'll find SysX and as you can see right now all the banks are empty. All the banks are empty but we're about to change that. So the first thing you go is you click on you click on receive bank there is where the arrow is and start dump on instrument okay the box comes up not bytes received so it's waiting on you now to start the dump on the instrument on the DX27 you press the function button and you press over here on the MIDI you press sysinfo and as you can see sysinfo is on in the screen if you press it again press the sysinfo button again it says MIDI transmit and if you press yes over here press the plus one or yes button you go back on your computer screen and you see 4104 bytes received and it's it's transmitted in a flash because it's a very small file in these old instruments so you just click on done and notice up there now it says for bank not is no longer empty it has 4104 bytes ready to be sent on output one so basically you've got it into your you've got it into your first bank knot now the thing about it is at this point you could just save the whole project and it would be there but you can click on this one save bank to file which is the last uh, icon here and you can export it as a 6 sysx binary file which is a standard format so you should be able to import it into any application so I just go save and that's done so now I have saved it as a sysx binary file and I can of course also save it as a project file under sonar now if I, if I do that, uh, I can close everything and uh, it will have been saved. So now I have it as a sonar project file and I also have it as a binary which could be imported into any other type of DAW of Ableton Live, Cubase or whatever. Okay, so we go back now to the... We just we just press the internal play button there and we're back to normal operating mode having already saved all 24 internal memories now you'll probably want to see how to play back the data so what we're going to do is change a few memories uh, just to make sure that when it's loaded back down we realize that it's actually overwritten the memory okay we're ready to restore the memories from the computer to the DX27 notice we've moved the cable to MIDI in the black cable is now to MIDI in we don't need a cable on MIDI out 
over on our USB to MIDI interface we have the cable going into MIDI out on the interface the same black cable has gone into MIDI out instead of MIDI in on the interface over on the computer there is the data in bank 0 4104 bytes you can see it there and as you look here you can see that there is a button send bank I'm, I'm moving the mouse to its send bank here the bank is highlighted so all we need to do is to send it but before we send it you want to go function memory protect and make sure that the memory protect is off so that the data will be loaded that's all you need to do turn off the memory protection and then click on send bank when we do that a window appears and it's been sent over here on the DX27 it says MIDI received MIDI received that's your knowledge that it's gone into the memories finally we want to go function memory protect and turn the memory protection on again and uh, it's good to leave the memory protection on against accidental erasure at least you have to turn it off intentionally and uh, all your memories should be back to whatever you had saved on the computer